Uh, so now we're moving into module three, which is where we look at drum layering and the likes. Uh, but I want to start off by talking about layering in the time domain, uh, just quickly to give you an overview of what I mean and how it applies uh, to layering, specifically drum layering. So we know how important uh, EQ is. Uh, it avoids, it allows us to sort of not bypass, but reduce the effects and consequences of frequency masking. Um, it allows us to make sounds more uh, coherent and, and improve the chemistry between them. But there's also another process that is unfortunately neglected when layering, and that is the time domain. Now what do I mean by the time domain? I mean the placement of elements on, say, a piano roll or in the arrangement. Um, and also mean the shape of the sound. So uh, the the ADSR, and there we go, attack, decay, sustain, release. Um, and this applies, you know, tenfold when layering drums, but it's important when layering anything. You know, you need to ask yourself, does this layer need to be played before uh, or after the existing layer? So in some cases, uh, when layering claps, you know, you might want... Um, a bit more snap to your clap, so you would have one clap layer play a little bit before the next layer, and it might have a little bit less sustain and so on. Um, so you have to ask yourself, does it need to be played before or after the existing layer, or does it be, is it played at the same time? Um, and if it has to be play, uh, played before or after, how much should it be, how much should it differ by? You also need to ask yourself how long the sound should be. Um, in the case of layering claps, again, you might only want a short clap, a short clap layer, or you might want a long one. Uh, does it need to be shorter? Does it need a fast attack? Um, how much sustain does it need? All of these questions you have to ask yourself when you're um, adding a new layer. And when layering kicks, this is even more important because uh, if you don't pay close attention to the time domain, your kick is going to, you know, it's going to um, induce phasing and all kind of, issues like that um, and you're going to develop a more intuitive understanding uh, of the time domain and how you should think about it as you progress through this course uh, but for now just know that it's an incredibly important factor and effective layering that most people would forget and it's also important to note uh, that it should be done before you even touch EQ so it starts with the source material then you look at the time domain, where should it be placed, um, what kind of attack, decay, sustain, release does it need, and then how do I EQ it to make it fit better. Um, so I just wanted to cover that quickly, uh, just so you understand it, but we are going to move on to layering kicks in the next video. Uh, but before you do that, before you move on to the next video, I want you to download the resource folder uh, for module 3, which has a lot of samples in it that we're going to be using um, for the upcoming videos.